So glad you played the song Isolation yeah. for us today. That was really fantastic. I hear that was the first song that you recorded for the record. Not the first song that you wrote, but recorded for the record. Mm -hmm. um, did it set the pace of, of the album? I feel like, yeah, I mean, that one, Isolation and Ghost Santa Fe were kind of two of the first songs I wrote. Yeah, they kind of set the tone of like where I wanted to go. Songs like Isolation and Beneath My Love were like two songs that were a little bit different sound-wise, and we went through different faces. Like we had a, uh, an electronic, more like electronic sort of side to when we um, used like 70 synthesizers and it went through that kind of phase and then well then we so, I sort of changed my mind and we took it to, to the studio Dreamland which is up in Woodstock and it's this old old church um, that we tracked a lot of the record live in. Yeah. What was that experience like being in an old church? Yeah. It was it was nice spiritual affair. Yeah. It was a us, stuffy recording studio. Yeah there's four of us plus uh, Claudius that co-produced the record with it's up there for five days. I wanted to track a lot of it live and not do too many takes, you know. Um, so it was like one, one, two take wonders and then just, you know, three, four songs a day. I feel like a song is never finished in a way, you know. I feel like I keep on, we tour a lot and a song changed a lot every gig almost, you know, every week it's like we're changing something with it and, and so like in f five years time, you know, if I did a live record, song like Isolation or any kind of song would sound very different, you know. There's been uh, a few changes in the world of Alberta Cross in the past year or so. Uh, what does that mean for the future of the band? I think, uh, I mean, I, Terry was a huge part of the band, you know. I mean, I always wrote all the songs pretty much, but he's, we always use a bounce ideas in between us and you know he's my best friend pretty much but he's still my best friend I just I don't know I don't have him on the road anymore because he can't cope with the touring um, so I think I've changed things up and and now I feel like I know clearer what I want to do now like I don't be, you know on the first couple of records I feel like I maybe let people like I was a bit more not lost but like it was a bit like new and now I feel like I kind of know what I want as an artist even more than I did then, you know. So that's, I think, a good thing. So I'm always looking ahead and I'm always like five steps ahead. I'm like already thinking next record and future, you know. It is you I'm looking for, it's true. Were there songs that didn't make this record that could roll into something A lot else? of songs that didn't make this record, yeah. <laughs> But I, I always move, like I always, like I might keep some stuff, but like I'm always moving ahead, you know, so I'm like, I, I'm, I'm writing songs now for the new record. The other stuff that they make this record might like land somewhere, you know, on an EP or something, but probably not on the next record. Could you see yourself ever getting impatient with the with the release process in the sense of like, I just want to get it out there and maybe just do a quick release? That's the thing that frustrates, yeah, that's what's starting to frustrate me these days, like, um, you know, you can't really re uh, release records that often, you know. Which I understand because it'd be a nightmare for my label, you know. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, if it was up to me, I'd release a record, a new one, in like a half year or something. Yeah.